Hi guys, so I know I've been missing for a while, I know I took down a lot of my videos, I know a lot has happened, but um, all I'm going to say is that I'm back and I'm going to start filming again. So I thought I'd start with one of the things that I think everyone likes to watch is a haul. So I went to Sephora a couple days ago and I've picked up a couple of things. I also have some things from MAC and Lush that I will share with you guys, but I think I will do those hauls probably in... Uh, smaller ways because then I get to talk more about each product which I think you guys like and I like to do as well. So my first product which I'll start with is my Cila eyeliner. This eyeliner is a stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner which is like this. It comes with a very thin tip. It is super duper black. Um, I'm wearing it today actually and I doubt you guys can even really see it but it's very thin. And it works really well. It's waterproof. And what I like about this product, I think the most, is that it, even though it's waterproof, it comes off easily at the at the end of the day when you try to take it off with any makeup remover or any kind of face soap. Um, and I really like that um, with these kind of products. I know a lot of people think that waterproof shouldn't come off with even makeup remover, but I feel quite the opposite. I think it should be a product that stays on all day long, but at the end of the day when you do apply any makeup remover, it should come off. So. In this way, I really do like this product. I enjoy using it quite a bit. And um, what I really like is the fact that it goes on thin, it goes on sleek, it goes on shiny. So it looks very, very clean throughout the day. My next product would be my... I bought a new blush and I have bought a lot of new blushes. So I have a lot of products that I have to share because I what I did in the last little bit actually was... I threw out a lot of my old makeup that I stopped using or I gave it away to people that are friends or whatever who could use it or who would like to use it. And I think like sometimes it's not even that you don't like it yourself. It's something that you've kind of just stopped using because you use so much of it or whatever, you know, whatever reasons you have. And I don't like to go through the hassle of selling it, so I just kind of give it away to friends. So I bought this um, blush by Tarte. It is the Amazonian Clay Longwear Blush which is really nice, I think, because it it is this gorgeous, first of all, pink kind of corally color, which is nice for the summer, I believe. I think everyone likes to have a coral in the summer. It looks um, it looks really nice, looks fresh, goes really well on um, Indian skin tone. Uh, this is the color itself is the color Tipsy. I don't know if that'll focus, but this is quite nice. Um, what I like about it, it has a very different consistency. I think there's been a lot of talk about this online. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but um, it does have a very different consistency. It tends to be stars as a powder and then it kind of turns into something not like a powder, settles really nice on the skin, and I really like this product so far. So I've only used it like two days, but I do like the color, I do like the consistency, and we will see if it makes me break out or anything, which I usually don't have a problem with most products, except for some of MAC's Queen Blushes. Um, my next two products are by NARS, and um, what happened was, one of this was actually a mistake, but I really liked it in the end, and I decided to keep it. So I bought two new multiples by NARS, and one is in the color Luxor and the other one is in Portofino. So Portofino is more of a pink, kind of a reddish pink I'd even say. Um, it could be both a winter color and a summer color and that's what I really liked about this. I thought it was quite um, diverse in use and that's what I loved about this one because a lot of them can kind of be only for highlighting I feel and this one definitely isn't like that. It's a very very nice kind of pinkish red uh, a rose, burnt rose kind of a color and what I really liked about this is that you can apply this as a cheek stain, you can apply this as an eye shade, you can apply this as a lip stain. Really, really it is a multiple so um, I thought this one was actually worth its buck. Um, as we all know these are quite expensive themselves so it, it is a lot to kind of dish out for. But I really liked the color and I thought it was great. Uh, another color that I got, the one, other one was, like I mentioned, Luxor, and Luxor is more like, which I thought was very comparative to Benefit's High Beam, and I've been using Benefit's High Beam for about five or six years now. I really like that product, uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but I, um, the only thing I don't like about this is that it does tend to go bad, and it gets this funny smell, so I will compare these two for you guys, and this is the High Beam, or sorry, this is the Luxor and this is the high beam. So I don't know. 
for me, they were quite similar. Um, if I swatch them, maybe they might be a bit different to you guys, but I really doubt it because once you blend out, that's the high beam that I have, and below that I actually have the... Um, so above is the high beam and below is the Luxor, which I should apply a little bit more of. I was kind of playing with these earlier today. So that's the Luxor. And if you guys can see that the high beam is actually a little bit more of a white shade, whereas the Luxor is a little bit of a pink. And I think pinks apply better on the skin tone, especially for highlighting and stuff, because you don't kind of want to look like a headlight in a picture, do we? So I thought this was really nice. Really, really, really like this product. I've had this on my wish list for about a year now. Um, I am glad that I have it now. Uh, another product that I've gotten, um, and this is probably the last one that I will talk about, is the Sugar Fresh um, product. It's the Sugar's Fresh Lip Treatment. And um, I like this product, A, because it's a twist. So it twists out, keeps the product very hygienic. It doesn't get it dirty, doesn't allow for it to slip off in your bag if you're using it. Um, it's just the clear one, so it just goes, it absolutely goes on clear. There's nothing special about the color or anything, and I know that they do come in the tinted versions, but what I like this for is that it's nice to have kind of a lip treatment that you can put on before you apply your lipstick on, and I thought that this was really good for that. So that's the reason that I got this. This is actually a really nice product, very expensive. Not very expensive, I spent more on a lip gloss actually, and I have it right here somewhere. And this is the By Terry. The By Terry product is very, um, it's very nice as well. It's more of a jelly consistency. It does the same job essentially, but this was about $48 if I remember correctly, and this was $26. And those are the products that I've bought so far, I would say. Uh, I have done a MAC haul and a Lush haul and I will do them separately. I'll talk about each of the products very soon. I had a great time doing this video and I hope to see you guys more and uh, talk to you guys later. Bye!